Stuart, what was your take on that match this evening? Uh, it felt like a, a familiar story, Scott, in recent weeks for us, to be honest with you. Um, I didn't think St Johnston had much in the way of creating chances. We find ourselves level. Uh, Connor Wilkinson gets a goal chopped off, which is a real frustrating one again. I thought it was a, I thought it was a good goal. He showed good appetite to try and turn the ball over. Um, the officials are saying that it's come off his hand. I don't think he knows anything about it, but a wonderful finish. And we feel relatively com uh, comfortable in the game. Two corner kicks, we find ourselves two goals down. Um, and it's probably as angry as I've been, to be honest with you, at half-time. I think just probably from my side of things, that you, you have to learn. You have to learn from situations. You know, I can stand in front of you guys and keep telling you what we're going to change and how we're going to change. But ultimately, it comes down to you know defending your penalty box, defending crosses into the box. Um, and we, we didn't do that. We know St Johnson have got great quality, especially with the left foot of Graham Carey. Um, and they managed to score off of two corners. Um, but you get in at half time. We made a change, we made a tweak to our system. Whether that's the bit that makes a difference, you know, sometimes I'm not so sure, Scott. Sometimes I just think it is um, making sure that the players understand what they're good at and trying to apply that to a game of football, very simply for me. Um, and what we started doing was we started getting bodies into their penalty box, we started getting crosses into uh, their final third, and as a result, we started to create some chances. And, and if I'm being brutally honest with you, we probably could have and should have won the game. Massive chance at the end. Falls to Ollie Shaw. Um, I think initially Ollie thinks that he's going to get shot away but probably if he gets his head up he sees a, an easy roll across the goal to Theo Bear who's got a tap in that's a little bit frustrating it's not a you know beat Ollie over the head with it but just when you find yourself 2-0 down here at half time with them having a new manager um, you would love to think that that was the moment we just had the wee bit of composure just to polish off what was a, an excellent comeback What got said in the dressing room at half time to spark that turnaround? Uh, I'd, I'd, I'll, I'll be honest obviously that, that, that bit is uh, sacred in the sense that what you say to individuals and what you say to your players but very simply from me um, it was that I, I wasn't seeing the team that I've, I've become accustomed to, to knowing um, and I wasn't accepting that we were going to go and perform and, and, and do what we'd done in the first half or what we'd maybe done in the last few weeks or whatever as well um, you know those words at times have been said they probably haven't been, haven't been said as aggressive um, I do believe in this group of players I do believe that there's no coincidence why we found ourselves on such a good run we find ourselves in a tough spot at this minute in time um, but to be fair to them they step forward to go and get themselves a point we wanted three so I, again I don't rest on this but you know very very much so um, we could have rolled over tonight and we could have um, we could have let St Johnson enjoy the second half we didn't we showed great personality showed great character um, but I don't think we'll get too many stabs at finding ourselves go uh, two goals behind and keep getting back into games we're showing that character we're showing that belief but you know I think from our point of view we have to make sure that we give ourselves a chance from maybe parity in a game or, or, or maybe us having our nose in front where we've been good where we've got something to hold on to and that's going to be the focus going into Saturday. Um, we've got a bit of an injury list. We've got a few people struggling with knocks and niggles and uh, a few more serious knocks in there as well. Um, but we have to freshen the players up tomorrow, Thursday, and really build towards uh, Saturday at home against Hearts and hope that we can try and get off on the front foot like we've been good at for such a long time. But just recently, certainly seems to have been a bit of an Achilles heel for us. I was just going to say, is this, could and should this be the spark for us? Yeah, I said that after Ross County, didn't I? Um, if, I'm, if I'm repeating myself, uh, I, I thought that that was a moment that could be a catalyst for another good run and another good spell for us as a football club. Um, it's not been, to be honest. The reaction hasn't been what I wanted. It's not been the results that I wanted or the players wanted or the supporters for that matter. Um, and, you know, that, that this this is the one then. This is the one that we have to look to see if it can sort of spark us into life and get us starting games of football better. Or when we find ourselves nil-nil, just to be in a more composed position and be uh, a, a little bit more diligent in our work, especially defensively, especially when we don't have the ball. Um, because I know if we do that, we're always going to have moments of quality in the game. I always know, you know, guys like Bereth can pop up with the finish again he does he does this evening. Uh, I think that that's a, a, a brilliant opportunity for us if we get ourselves into a more solid position in games um, but listen the players are trying I've said that already they are you can see it they're empty everything they've got out in that pitch again for us tonight um, and that has to be commended but we have to make sure that it, it, it starts to profit with more points Thanks for your time Stuart Cheers,